guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how I prep my hair and my scalp for protective styling like weaves or braids and also how I prevent any heat damage from the blow drying process. So of course I'm going to be starting with my curly hair and my hair is dirty right now so I'm going to do a clarifying shampoo with the Shea Moisture African Water Mint and Ginger Detox and Refresh Gentle Shampoo. This is perfect for right before protective styling because you really want your hair and scalp to be as clean and as fresh as possible. I really love the tingly feeling that the mint in this shampoo gives my scalp. It just feels so refreshing and nice. And it also doesn't dry out my hair. And as you can see, I'm just focusing the shampoo more on my scalp. So after shampooing, of course we need to replace that moisture that we lost with conditioning. So I'm going to use my Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner, which is another favorite for um, clarifying the scalp and also moisturizing the hair at the same time. It also has a lot of slips, so it's perfect for detangling. The first thing I'm doing, of course, is um, splitting up my hair into sections. I'm resaturating my hair with a little bit of water to make the conditioner apply a little bit easier and making a mess, clearly. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply the conditioner all over this section and begin detangling my hair. So after I finish conditioning and detangling, I just rinse out all the conditioner and then I move on to deep conditioning as well as a hot oil treatment at the same time. I knock out two birds with one stone. Let me explain to you guys the importance of this step. So this is just a DIY scalp oil that I create myself. It's just castor oil, coconut oil, olive oil, as well as a little bit of peppermint oil. I don't do measurements or anything, I just kind of do an equal amount of each oil. So first, of course, I'm just going to section off my hair into smaller sections to make applying this oil a little bit easier. And if you make your mixture in advance like I do, you wanna make sure that you shake it up very, very well before you apply it to your hair because natural oils tend to settle. You wanna make sure that all the oils are mixed together. So I literally just take a little bit of the oil on my fingers and apply it to each section of my hair directly on my scalp. The reason why I feel like this benefits me before doing a protective style is because my hair and my scalp tends to get really dry and itchy and flaky really quick when I do protective styles so I find that moisturizing my scalp um, really helps to prevent that from happening too early if I don't do this literally as soon as I blow dry my hair my scalp will get really dry and flaky and you don't want to apply an oil to your hair and your scalp right before you go in to get your protective style so this is a really good alternative because this oil is going to be rinsed out but the scalp will still remain very very hydrated so as you can see, I'm just massaging the oil into my scalp to make sure that it really deeply gets in there. So while the hot oil treatment is on my scalp, I also like to deep condition at the same time using my favorite mask before I put heat on my hair, the Carol's Daughter Kupuasu Hair Mask. And it just instantly helps to really moisturize the hair and strengthen the hair so that way it is more resilient to heat. First, I'm just going to resaturate my hair a little bit. Um, you want to make sure that your hair is dripping wet when you apply this mask because it is very, very thick and can be hard to apply if your hair is not dripping wet struggling what's new <laughs> but um yeah this hair mask has cocoa butter kubawasu butter shea butter jojoba oil coconut oil blueberry oil sunflower oil soy oil just so many amazing uh oils that are going to benefit your hair uh you want to make sure that you're really prepping your hair in the best way possible before you put heat on because this is going to make a big difference in how well your hair refrains from the heat you don't have to use this hair mask, but I highly, highly, highly recommend it for before you straighten your hair, before you blow dry it, before any type of heat is put on your hair. It really makes a difference. So then I'm just going to repeat the same exact process on the other sections. I'm going to apply the oil all over my scalp and massage that in real, real good. Um, I do focus the oil on my scalp, but I don't care if a little bit of it gets on my hair because it just helps to moisturize it a little bit more and strengthen it as well. When you rinse this out, you want to make sure that you really, really get all the oil out because like I said, you don't want to have any oils or anything on your scalp when you go to get your protective style. Most braiders or people that put in weaves prefer your hair to be dry and not super oily and slippery. So just make sure you thoroughly rinse out the oil. And then once I have the oil applied to my scalp, I just resaturate my hair and then apply the hair mask to the rest of my hair.
Also, if you know that you have thinner or weaker edges, definitely be very generous with this oil on your edges because this is going to help to make sure that they're stronger and um, a lot more resilient to any manipulation. Especially if you're getting like braids or uh, frontal. Yeah, girl, you need to take care of them edges. So once I'm done applying the oil and the deep conditioner to my entire head, I'm just going to put on a plastic cap and allow this to sit on for like 20 to 30 minutes. So after that 20 to 30 minutes is up, this is what my curls are looking like. Super juicy, super happy, and um, very, very moisturized and ready to have heat applied. So after rinsing out the deep treatment and the hair oil, I'm just going to separate my hair into smaller sections, again of course to make my life a lot easier. And for this next part, I'm going to actually separate my hair into even smaller sections. So this first section that I'm starting with, I'm going to split it again into two. And just pin up the other part to keep it out of the way. So I'm going to apply my heat protectant now, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Thermal Protectant by Shea Moisture. It has peppermint, it has keratin, it has Jamaican Black Castor Oil, of course. Um, a lot of great things that are going to help protect your hair from the heat. Now because this heat protectant is kind of thick, it has shea butter, it has castor oil, a lot of thick ingredients in it. I typically don't use this to blow dry my hair when I'm going to straighten it because I don't like my hair to be too weighed down. So I only use this before I blow dry my hair before a protective style, not before um, I straighten my hair. I actually use almost completely different products for when I straighten my hair. This is solely for blow drying my hair before a protective style. So as you can see, I'm just applying this all over my hair into sections and then as I finish a section I just kind of twist it up to keep it out of the way. Once I've finished uh, applying the heat protectant all over my hair and every section is twisted up, I'm just going to pin the twist out of my way so that I can begin blow drying. Starting off with this first little section in the back, I'm just going to unravel the twist and use a detangling comb to detangle my hair before I put the blow dryer through. Since my curls are really tight, um, combing my hair first just helps me to get the blow dryer through my hair easier. I'm using a very generic blow dryer that I got from Walmart. I couldn't even tell you the brand. I think it's Alia Ali. I don't know, I don't use a fancy blow dryer at all because I don't blow dry my hair often so why spend hundreds of dollars on a blow dryer? But um, I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry this section and I'm going to repeat the same exact process until my entire head is blow dried. And this takes me about 30 minutes on its own just blow drying my hair through. And of course, as I finish each section, I'm just going to twist it to keep it out of the way.
So once I finish blow drying the last section, I just kind of take all the twists out and blow dry through my hair one last time to make sure that everything is nice and stretched out. And I do blow dry my hair on the highest setting. Um, this blow dryer actually only has a high setting and a low setting, so I have to use high or else my hair will not blow dry out. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. Uh, this is what my hair looks like when it's nice and blown out and it's protected, it's happy, it's moisturized. It just feels great and nice and soft and smooth. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a nice thumbs up. I'm just going to put my hair in a nice little bun so that way when I go to the salon, I don't look crazy walking around with my hair blow dried out. Um, comment below what your favorite part of this video was. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!